Hello and welcome to another episode of Fully Charged, this time coming from a vehicle that I really think can be described as rather a lot of fun. ventilation system so they can't block it in so it has open doors so there's been quite a lot of discussion about whether this car would be very popular in the United Kingdom clearly in the summer uh, in England it would be a delight to drive I mean I'm not in direct wind here I've got a windscreen in front of me a roof over my head but the sides are completely open I can imagine it being incredibly popular in Spain in southern France in Italy really makes a lot of sense. Such an easy car to drive, it's so small, it's so easy to park, it charges in a couple of hours basically. I mean if you're driving this round a little town that would be all day and also you can plug it into any plug socket. Such an easy car to get up on a pavement or off the road. And, you know it's had a huge amount of advantages. It technically is a two-seater but I can get a passenger in the back behind me. Um, I can't imagine it would be an enormous amount of fun sitting there. So it's a bit like a motorbike in that sense. They'd have to sit there with their legs either side. There is room, it does technically work. Here's one of the things I've been reading a lot about recently uh, that is equally important to changing what motivates our cars, as in electricity as opposed to burning fossil fuels. It's the weight of cars. Now, one of the things I love about this car is really light. It weighs uh, 450 kilograms or something like that. I mean, it's in, for, for a car, that is incredibly light. It's all crash protected. It's got airbags. It's all those things that we now know are really a good idea to have in a car. But it isn't a great big heavy thing. And it's that, and that's an educational thing to convince people that light cars are safe. Now, the top speed of this car is somewhere around 80k as far as I can tell. Apparently someone has done over 90 going down a hill. I haven't got there yet. Doing 67 kilometers an hour at the moment. It has a real go-kart feeling about it. If you've ever driven a go-kart and you know how they just stick to the road and wrench you around corners and it's quite painful going there. This thing has definitely got that feeling. It's incredibly stable. Yeah, it does. I, I'm too scared to go around the corner as fast as this car clearly could go around the corner. So it's nothing to do with the car, that is just my fear. And also I don't need to race like I may have done when I was young. Or some young men I need to, but it will go around corners, alarming me quickly. That is truly extraordinary. This is such a fun, even if you don't ever buy an electric car and you're never going to, and you think they're all rubbish, and you think it's all nonsense, just borrow one of these, rent one when you're on holiday. They are brilliant fun. Turn right. Uh, I sort of am turning right. There's nothing else to do. Is that right? Oh, quite hard suspension. <laughs> I think that's fair to say. I just want to say this is really good fun little car, and just like the advert says, it puts a smile on your face. <laughs> it does. Really annoyed about that. So the Renault Twizy is an intriguing vehicle, I mean there's no doubt about it, I've now driven it I guess probably 100 kilometres around Ibiza which is very pleasant I have to say. It is, a, uh, it, it, it really challenges lots of preconceptions and assumptions that we all make about cars because it's kind of not a car, it isn't a car technically, it is a quadricycle. Um, it's, in, it's just a delight to drive. That's the intriguing thing. And when, you, then you, when you're in it, you start to think, why are cars so big and heavy for a start? Why are they so big and heavy? Because there's a huge amount of time I spend in a car, I'm on my own. There's no one else there. Um, uh, you know, and then occasionally you need to give lots of people a lift and, and this would be completely 
useless. So it, 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 it challenges lots of assumptions we have. It is genuinely, I think, disruptive technology. I think it is genuinely an exciting uh, break for a, a big company to make. As soon as I got in, I thought, my son and daughter, if this was the first car they drove, wouldn't that be amazing? For a start, it's very easy to drive. I've seen the crash test footage. Believe me, that thing is incredibly tough. I've gone around corners far faster than I would dream of doing in a standard car. And it's, it, road holding is phenomenal. The center of gravity is so low that it just sticks to the road like a go-kart. It's amazing. I think all in all, the Twizy, okay, it's only 6,000 quid. You've got to release the battery. It's the same thing with all Renaults. Uh, there's lots of discussion about that. But I think, on the whole, I think it's pretty cool. If I was 21, I can't even remember that far back, but if I was 21, I'd want one.